Hey everyone, this is John Gallant. Today I'm going to give you an update on Azure REST APIs with Postman for 2021. Postman has changed quite a bit over the last couple of years since I did my last video. So I figured I'd do an update to get you all up to speed with all the latest and greatest stuff from Postman. I also did a blog post with all the steps that you will see in this video, and I will link to that blog post in the description. Now, before we get too far into Azure REST APIs with Postman, I want to take a minute to talk about the Azure SDKs. A lot of people go about trying to interact and manage their Azure resources using the REST APIs directly, which I'm a big fan of and I fully support. But I want you to know that we have Azure SDKs that wrap all of the REST APIs. And on top of that, we have what we call data SDKs or client libraries that wrap all of the data management aspects of your Azure resources. You can find all of those at azure.com slash SDK. So azure.com slash SDK has links to all of the libraries that we have for all the languages. For example, if you wanted to say write a Python script that's going to do what we are going to do in Postman today, you would click on get the SDK under Python. And then here on this page, you'll see that we have all of the Python client libraries as well as the management libraries. So I just wanted to throw that out there just to make sure that you know these libraries exist and know that you can do all of the things that you can do with the REST API in a language specific SDK. Once again, that URL is azure.com slash SDK. I also wanted to let you know that I created this introducing the new Azure SDKs three minute video it's at AKAMS AZ SDK slash intro. I'll put a link in the description and there should be a card that you can click on right now in this YouTube video, but check it out if you want to learn more about the new Azure SDKs. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go talk about Azure REST APIs with Postman in 2021. The first thing you're going to want to do obviously is download and install Postman. Just go to postman.com, go to downloads and install it on your system. Next, you're going to want to install the Azure CLI or use the Azure Cloud Shell. You can install the Azure CLI using all of these links here. I'll link to this page in the description as well. Or you can go to shell.azure.com to get an in-browser shell, which allows you to execute all the Azure CLI commands in your browser without having to install locally. It's super convenient. The first thing we're going to do is create a service principle to be used to generate the tokens that we need to authenticate with the Azure REST APIs. We're going to create a service principle with the AZ ADSP create for RBAC command. That's going to go ahead and create your service principle and output something like you see below. Next, you're going to want to open the collection I made for you at this getpostman.com link right here. This is from my blog, which I will link to in the description, and I'll also put a link to this collection. So go ahead and click on run in Postman or click on the link in the description. And it's going to ask you where you want to open that collection. You can choose Postman for web, Postman for Windows. I have not tried it with web because I mostly use Windows. Go ahead and try on web. Let me know how it goes. But for now, we're going to use Windows. So click on Postman for Windows. Postman will then ask you what workspace you want to put that collection into. We're going to select my workspace. As you can see, it was added down here. So go ahead and click on that collection, Azure REST 2021. First thing we'll do is click on variables. Now we're going to go back to the output of the service principle that we created with the Azure CLI and fill in the values. Client ID is equal to the app ID. Client secret is equal to the password. Tenant ID is equal to the tenant. And now let's show you how to get your subscription ID. So back in the Azure CLI or your cloud shell, I want you to enter this AZ account show dash dash query ID dash O TSV. That tells the Azure CLI to get your subscription ID only and to output it as plain text not quoted. So we're going to take that subscription ID and paste it into the subscription ID variable. Resource is going to be equal to HTTPS colon slash slash management.azure.com slash. Now, if you're using other non-management REST APIs for Azure, you're going to want to change that to a different resource. But this is the default for the Azure management plane. Bearer token will be filled out programmatically, which I will show you in a second. You can just leave that blank. Now, super, super important. 
go up to save and click save. Now you don't need to do anything in these next couple of steps, but I wanted to show you how we're getting the tokens needed to call the REST APIs. So at the collection level, you can set a pre-request script. In this script, we are calling the OAuth endpoints using the service principle information that you stored in variables to get the bearer token and then storing that in the bearer token variable. Then on the authorization tab, we're selecting a type bearer token and then saying we want to set the token to the variable value bearer token. This will automatically add the authorization header to each request in that collection. Now all we have to do is select the request that we want to execute and then click send. As you can see, all of my resource groups have been outputted to the response output pane. Now that was a simple get request. What does a put request look like? So let's create a resource group with a put request. We're gonna change the HTTP verb to put. We're gonna add the resource group name to the URI, and then we're gonna set the body. So to set the body, click the body tab, then select the raw radio button, and then choose JSON here. In this case, we need to pass in a location using this JSON format. Then all we do is we click send, and as you can see, that resource group was created. All right, that's it for Azure REST APIs with Postman in 2021. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider giving a like and a sub. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.